Let's talk about you. Let's give you a chance to react to the uh, accusations from the lying legacy mainstream media. Your campaign, Glenn's campaign, uh, was just a dog whistle for racists, white supremacists. You're the black face of racism in America. I want you to tell those people the truth about Winsome Sears. Well, what they conveniently forget is that 20 years ago, when Virginia did not have a law against the KKK burning crosses and terrorizing us because we had a 50-year-old law at the time that was ruled unconstitutional, I was the one who brought forward that law, which was written by the Republican lieutenant, uh, actually, attorney general, and put it forward and got it through. Everybody voted for it. It survived the Supreme Court test for the state and also the Supreme Court test for the United States. So, you know, it, it's stupid what they're talking about, but it's okay. We understand that, that when you really delve into what they're trying to do, it's really to continue to divide us and that they cannot afford for someone like me to win an election of this magnitude because then it signals to everyone well, why are we voting the way that we vote? What are the policies that we truly believe in? Because, you know, really, the, the, the black population uh, or the minority populations were generally more conservative. We just don't vote that way. And so they know that I'm a danger right. to them. And here's what else they forget, yeah, that you... they had wanted me to become a Democrat. But when I didn't join them, they're trying to vilify me. Yeah, it'll be all right. Well, you've been you 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 have been fighting the racists in Virginia. You've won, so all they have left is a smear tactic. Uh, yes. Lieutenant Governor, you came to my attention with a, a seminal image from your campaign that we saw all over the Commonwealth. You holding an AR-15. You're a former Marine. You're a warrior. Why was it so important to you to have that image as part of your campaign? Talk to us about uh, your respect for the Second Amendment. Well, you know, we do have the Second Amendment. And you, you wonder, have they forgotten that we have that? So that's number one. Number two, gun confiscation laws historically were first used against black people. And so I'm not giving up any gun. That's number one. Uh, or number two, or number three, number four. Here's another thing. Uh, Harriet Tubman Harriet Tubman carried a gun as she was trying to help free the slaves. If it's good for Harriet, it's good enough for me. And then finally, whenever you hear about black people and guns, it's always in a negative sense. You know, we're always committing some kind of crime with it. For once, can we talk about positive relationships that black people have being gun owners. We have black gun manufacturers. Should we get rid of them, kill their business? We have black ammo manufacturers. Should we get rid of their business? And by the way, the fastest growing gun owning segment in America are black women. Who's going to come and take our guns, Sebastian? It's a great question. I know they're not going to get them from you or any proud patriot in the Commonwealth of Virginia, and it's a great feeling. Congratulations to you, the incoming governor, the incoming attorney general. Guys, here's the lesson. Be brave, be a patriot, and we can take back our nation. One election, one school board, one lieutenant governor election at a time. Winston Sears is proof, is all the proof you need. God bless you. Can't wait for your day to be sworn in. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.